Amber Rangel is in good spirits as she waits to undergo brain surgery at the University of Kansas Hospital. I'm just ready to get it over with. Yeah. Um, I trust my doctors. Um, I like it here. So I'm just ready to. I guess get it started. Amber was flown to the hospital from Liberal, Kansas, ahead of a blizzard. Her family made the eight-hour trip by car. My son and my daughter-in-law, they came from Liberal, Kansas, which is clear across the state. Uh, I'm from Wichita, uh, so it was a little, you know, it was interesting. Amber has four melanoma tumors growing larger in her brain. In the operating room, 3D imaging pinpoints the tumors, two of which are now causing the right side of her body to lose strength. The tumors must come out. During part of the surgery, Amber must be awake just enough to talk to the neurosurgeons. And to do it awake because we don't want to go through the area that primarily moves her arm and leg because she'd be paralyzed after surgery. So with her awake, we gently stimulate that area. She'll know uh, her arm and leg uh, will be stimulated and then we can say, stay out of that part of the brain, go right next to it, and hopefully she'll wake up and still be moving everything okay. Do you need a dream about Jamaica or California Adventure Land, which is right next to Disneyland and, and California, it's in Orange County? Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> Resident surgeon Brian Kelly jokes with Amber as they numb the top of her head. Amber has been battling her melanoma for nearly 10 years. She was diagnosed at age 17. The cancer has claimed her right leg, but she's a fighter and she's not afraid of this surgery. Uh, some people are very uh, frightened of it, but it's actually not a terribly uh, difficult thing to go through uh, for most people because there's really no pain sensation anywhere below the scalp. Amber is put into a deep sleep to allow the surgeons to gain access to her brain. Guided by the 3D technology, doctors make a relatively small incision, cutting through the skull. Tiny titanium plates will be used to reattach the skull later. Plates are very slim line, you can't see them through the skin. The melanoma tumors are easy to spot. Just like on the skin, these cancers are dark. It takes surgeons roughly three hours to remove Amber's tumors, taking care to not damage the part of the brain that controls Amber's fine motor skills. Think real hard, sweetie, and just try and close your... Oh, there you go. She moved it. Mm -hmm. yeah, she wrist. Amber is doing great. Doctors perform this kind of surgery five or more times a month. And on this snowy day, it's one of many surgeries. I think five surgeries today. In spite of the weather, everybody was in the house. In all, 36 surgeries were performed during this winter snowstorm, as medical teams get no snow days. Dr. Camerata, a Notre Dame fan, says it's all in a day's work. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Jill Chadwick.